Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before the video starts, I wanted to do a little bit of an intro because I want to start like a viewer build type thing, you know what I mean? So I, I tried a little bit, I liked it, and I want to try it more, right? So I made a uh, channel in my Discord server. Make sure you guys join and just post your build. Um, I'm gonna try it out. If it's cool, if it's good, then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna make a video on it, give you a shout out, all that stuff. Um, and yeah, so yeah, join the Discord, share your builds, get a shout out, and you know, we can, we can be cool basically. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna try something a little bit different this time. Um, I do want to do the mana bomb build again with Berserker because we did it with, uh, we did it with Deerwood Guardian. It, that build can be better, but we did it with Deerwood Guardian. It, it went pretty solid, but I do want to try it with the wolf emblem. And that's pretty much what we're going to be attempting right now. All right. So this shop sucks kind of ish eh, a little bit. I see a wet cell on sale and usually I always get me a wet cell on sale if I see it. Definitely going to need the sword. If I can get a broom. Okay. Not, not bad though. Not bad. Getting this was not bad. Honestly, getting that was not bad. I don't know if we can win this round though with just this, right? I mean, we do get our combination, which is nice. The second thing I want to get is healing herbs, but I also want to get a stone, but I don't want to reroll on this round either. Um, we could also nah i'm not gonna pick up this pan because i'm just gonna sell it although i could go for a shovel but i don't really want a shovel to be fair i'd rather just have the broom um so i think i'm just gonna go with this healing herb spend some money on the healing herb these two are pretty solid but i don't want to just i don't want to reserve them i definitely gonna need a broom next round but winning this round is highly doubtful because we only got one dps they only got one dps as well but i mean Ah, uh, well, how it is 1.1 a second. I mean, it's pretty even, actually, to be fair. Besides the fact that we have Berserker mode, they started with more max health, but we have Berserker mode and we got the regeneration. So we win this one. Okay, great. They didn't start off great. Not did we, but we still took that home, which is awesome. So, boom, we got a shell totem. I definitely want to get a broom. Um, probably switch this around just for the sake of whetstone. Piggy is a W for sure. And I say we probably just buy this pocket sand. Um, it'll help out the broom. It can also be used as a star slot on the piggy. <clears throat> Both of those are just beautiful, right? So let's get that reserve space. And the next thing we probably would want is a banana. One, one banana, maybe two bananas would be great. Double piggy. I wish I was you with double piggy. They do have stamina generation though. And we kind of just don't. But at the same time, that two regeneration helps a lot, I think. Because, well, then again, the whetstone probably helps out a lot too. Two to four versus our four to six with empowerment. I was wondering how we did so much damage at the start there. Honestly, we did a lot of damage at the start there. Um, I was looking at this. I was looking at a freaking double whetstone. I'm not going to do that though. That's not the build. But anyways, let's get you. Definitely been down just for the sake of stamina. Roll one time. Not a bad roll. Kind of-ish. Kind of-ish. I mean... This could be useful for when we get our health potion, right? Because we can use the health potion to proc this. That's extra survivability. I see a Ridge in here, which I'm definitely going to be picking up probably in like next round or something like that, more than likely. Um, Maybe I should do something like this instead. Freeze up three slots here, which I could use for the banana and I can use for that, which is good. Um, And then I just put that up there. Do a little situation like this. I say we probably should... More than likely, this is the better buy because we can't use this now. We can't buy that unless we sell a pocket sandwich. I'm not really feeling the need to sell anything to buy this guy. So we're just going to reserve you and I'm just going to buy this because that can help us now versus later. This can be really good once we get a health potion to proc that, like I said. Yeah. And I think that would be great. And we could just sell it later because I don't really. I mean, I could combine it with like something. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't see myself using whatever I'm going to combine it with, like stone gloves. Nah stone helmet maybe nah, but there we go there's uh the proccing i was talking about 12 gold we could what is that eight nine to eleven yeah let's just get this extra space as well and that way we can get that the proc got our health healing herb round four is pretty decent i need to start looking for some blueberries blueberries will be phenomenal actually really good blueberries would be really really good but we got a lot of survivability just from this combination alone so we should be fine with winning like the next two two rounds maybe this one was one <laughs> the next one's gonna be one as well so i don't know what's gonna happen after that but we'll just have to see more space seven gold i can roll a little bit um i probably should i don't have that much space to begin with right so we'll get that uh stone gloves i'm not gonna use them i'm not gonna use stone gloves for anything right even though i really want to because we got both of these on sale that's a five gold stone gloves which is great better than ten but I don't want to, you know what I mean? I would, I would, but I don't want to. I'm also looking at this axe 
because that's infinite DPS going, right? That's 2.3 a second starting, right? I could sell broom and I could probably just sell this whetstone and get an axe. The thing is, what if I just get a hungry blade? You know what I mean? And this is going to be a waste of money. You know, are we really struggling that much that we need the axe? We have five lives. I'm okay with losing some lives. Even if we lose like a few times, I'm okay with losing some lives. I just say, I'm, I'm probably just going to try my luck here. I'm going to try my luck and try to just get a hungry blade. You know what I mean? We'll see. Do I win this with a claws of attack? That's scary. Claws of attack is scary. Definitely scary. I mean, we do have the extra survivability, but they're going to be able to do more DPS than us for sure. And he procked that really early. He's this guy's still at full health. Yeah, we lose this. We definitely lose this, unfortunately. I don't know if I, I, I think we would have still lost that even if we had the axe, honestly. Let me get both of you looking for a hungry blade. Blueberry is good. Blueberry is good. Oh, I forgot about bag of stones. We should have had the combination with bag of stones and a few stones. I think it's too late now. It's around six, so I'm not really stressing it too much because it's so late, but getting that would have been nice truthfully um roll another health potion is solid now this is the moment i can sell you to do this now that that i will do that i would do still no uh still no hungry blade unfortunately hopefully that turns around he's at the infinite dps scaling not to mention leather at, uh, armor bag of stones would be crazy here just to pierce through all of that block but unfortunately we don't have it even with that being said we're doing pretty good though to be fair and then the potions proccing just means we just have better survivability than you and that's game hey there we go and then we also got ourselves a mana orb on top of that so let's sell you put you right there not to mention we have three healing herbs so the vampirism is gonna be really nice um so we'll just keep this i think we just keep this like this like i i, I don't i don't think we um do i need you i have a lot of space this is one of those builds where fanny packs don't really matter so like i'm probably just not gonna get it not gonna get it um but yeah i'm just gonna i should have moved this mana orb somewhere else like that's horrible that was a very sad mana orb. i was moving too fast i should have moved it do i win versus a serpent staff that is interesting i actually don't know 6 to 14 so far and they're doing 12 to 14. ouch and did we miss and do we miss two times in a row with 90 percent accuracy come on we gotta take this guy down come on one more hit okay nice bro this was a huge buy okay this stone skin potion this is the first time i've ever done this build with using stone skin potion that was a huge buy i'm very happy we did that i'm not gonna buy this I, i'm only gonna buy the um the white wolves i'm not gonna buy it. unless i see a pet like this on sale i'm not gonna buy it um this is interesting so we definitely buy this which means we're gonna get rid of shell totem and honestly i don't even care about this wet stone anymore so we're gonna get rid of that and do a situation like this instead um Another health potion is insane, bro. We're getting lucky with these health potions. I like it though. I'll take another health potion and another blueberry. Can I get that blueberry this round? I can, but what am I willing to sacrifice for it? That's the question. I don't think I want to sacrifice anything for it. Um, do I turn this into a... I mean, it's probably... Yeah, I, I probably do. I probably do turn it. Oh, come back. Come back. <laughs> I probably do turn it only because we're going to be able to utilize it because we're going to have two mana potions next round. All right. Um, not to mention, we're going to get a third one as well. So we might as well go ahead and turn this. Is it possible I can get it to activate, though, if I were to possibly just do something along these lines right here? And I could use probably this 3.5 and it's uh, another 3.5 as activators. Let's see here. So, boom. Um, we could do no, cause well, well, it, it can still work. It can still work. It can still work. I said no too early. Kinda. No, no, no. It can still work. It can still work. So, boom, boom, and then that can go there. We'll move this guy over here along with this, and then we can do. Yeah, we can just move you, and then we can do this. But it's probably better to have like double activators on this stone skin potion, right? Versus the health potion or maybe it's better i have double activations on a mana potion just so we can get ourselves a mana or proc you know what i mean that might be the better play trying to get a mana or proc versus thorn whip it's also got pineapples in and spike shields on top of that and we have well i guess we have banana but other than that we have like no mana generation and he's just gonna destroy vampirism due to a uh, burning banner we lose this we definitely lose this not gonna get the proc either yeah that's an l that's an l 
That is an L. That was an okay L, though. I'll, I will take that L. I will take the L. Got our first white wolf, which is awesome. Let's get that. Um, I'll keep the potions how they are. Roll again and again. Nothing good. Well, I do like it when the pets are on sale. I do like that. So I'll probably just take that and then we could just swap a root here. Turn you into a mana potion. And hopefully we can start proccing this guy. Um, if we get really lucky, probably gonna lose this. That's a burst build if I've ever seen a burst build. Half of my health gone at start of battle. Half of it gone. It just disappeared. Hold up, this is kind of close though. Ooh, oh, we win, barely. Barely win, we'll take that. And then we got this guy as well. We might have to sell something because I want both of these. We need 16. Is it time to sell you? It's either sell that or that. I'm not selling anything else. I'm not selling it. I don't think I'm selling anything else. I mean, yeah, we're just selling you. I'm not even going to think about it too hard. We're just going to sell you. Okay. So then you can go here. Um, Or, you know, I'm just going to put you like this. That way I can get myself a combination. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Because we need to switch this entire situation over anyways. Because we have this guy that needs to go somewhere and do something. So we can do this. Um, And then we can put you here move both of these over and then we could go mana potion mana potion and then mana potion to proc all three of those star slots um and that's really the only thing that matters for the most part and then we could just put you there you can go there that can go there and then boom boom and yeah yeah i like the way that looks it's a little bit weak but i mean isn't everybody except this guy Look, stone armor with double corrupted armors is insane. Nacy's also got snake. I mean, he does, his DPS isn't great. Poison is, you know, poison is poison at the end of the day, right? But like, his weapons aren't shit, but poison is poison. Poison, Gubert, and snake is scary. But we still win. Yeah, we still win. Awesome. If he had like a real weapon, if he had any type of real weapon, that would have been a different game. Okay. Huge round because we got Shield of Valor on sale plus a mana orb plus leather bag. Here's a plan. I don't know the plan, but I know that I probably should buy these two. The thing is, do I want to get Moon Shield or do I want to get Hungry Blade? That's the thing. And on top of that, it's good to just have this here, like not combined at all, just a mana orb on the play because this uses up mana which makes these proc. The earlier these proc, the better off you are. If these proc too late, that gives the opponent's build time to like do their thing and then it's too late, right? The earlier these proc, the better. So maybe I just don't go for a combination at all. You know what I mean? Maybe I just buy this just to buy it and don't even go for a combination. Like maybe that's the play. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but I do want to buy this though and I'm trying to figure out where I can put it. Um... I could do that. I can move this over, put that there. Move this over, because this is the only thing that matters. And then just buy this and put it there. Yeah, that works for me. That works for me. I wish I had more uh, piggies. More piggies would be nice. But this works for me. Um, You know, I don't really want that anymore. I'm just going to buy this space. i do a little situation like this. They're both upgraded, which is good. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get a combination. I kind of just want to proc this. And then just have these follow and just have this guy do a bunch of damage as soon as those proc, right? At the same time, maybe I could use the puppies in the shield as activators. So that this activates more mana generation. That means I would have to move wolf emblem though. And I'm not sure. Unless I'm... Mm, yeah, that wouldn't be possible, I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna just keep it like this. We're just gonna keep it like this. See how it goes. If it goes bad here, which is definitely possible it will, considering the build that we're going against. But maybe it won't, you know what I mean? Maybe, we'll have faith. We'll keep faith here. That was a nice crit. And then Berserker mode, he's gonna get a lot of mana here. But the earlier his Berserker mode procs and gets over with, the better. As long as we just survive this Berserker mode situation, we should be fine, which Berserker mode is over. Gear work Goddard is no longer activating and we just win. We just win, good game. Okay, so we can also use this Glowing Crown as a procker instead, which is probably a good play considering it's on sale. 
Let's go ahead and get this. Give me more white ones. I don't want... <laughs> I don't want those. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's <laughs> move this down here. Um, we could put you here. Do I want to? Do I go moonshot or do I go hungry? Uh, probably manathers. Manathers is probably better. But the next orb we see will go towards this because we don't even have that many white wolves anyway. So it's like, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, we'll just do that instead. And then I'll put a blueberry over here, and then that can go there. We'll get that next round. And that should be good. Whoa, what? We didn't do that much damage at all. Anyways. Hungry Blade Prismatic Sword and an Ice Dragon. Getting this and this and like... That's pretty interesting. I don't know what kind of build they're cooking up, but they're cooking up something. Something's been cooked right now. I don't know what it is. Looks interesting though. Very interesting. Mana Ore proc now. Nice. They're putting up some work, though, honestly. I guess the healing from the Prismatic Orb is kind of nasty or something. But as soon as our Berserker Mode procs, it's just over with. Like, the game is just over with. As soon as Berserker Mode procs, it's, it's game. Especially since we're getting a second one of these. That's insane. Roll. Bad. Good. L we could sell the healing herbs. I mean... We don't really need the healing herbs anymore. I'm gonna reserve this, though. Because we're gonna need that. I kind of do want to keep this other puppy... I don't think I want to get rid of you. And I think... Yeah, we're going to do this. Um, Which means you're going back right here. And then we'll just do... A situation like that. Yeah, I think we just sell a healing herb to get this. And we can put it here. We're going to need to upgrade on you, though. But I can't... There's really no spaces that I could, like sacrifice for the most part i'm like i mean yeah we could just sell both of these healing herbs and then sell this that way i could just buy this space make my life a little bit easier get an upgrade there both of those being affected that's looking good and that's looking good all right there we go um okay that was a nice criticals though you, see, you guys see what i'm trying to do right so it, it's you're insta proccing the mana potions damn you hurt me am i dying oh 133 critical we deserve that <laughs> good game though good game but yeah so basically what you're doing you're insta proccing the mana potions by using mana from the glowing crown or a mana orb whichever one you like and you're graining crit chance with the puppies. At the same time, the puppies will be gaining you mana as soon as I turn this into a moon shield. They'll be... Now. They'll be gaining you mana. You know what I mean? And the more of these you have, the better. So we need, like, one more would be great. If I could just pull it, that would be phenomenal. Um, Hopefully, I could just pull it, though. I'm gonna just put that there because I'm feeling confident. I don't mind. There's a better way for me to set this up, though. Once I get this space, I think we just hard... W, like we don't really need anything else except white wolves another mana thirst um and then probably a health potion but mainly just more prismatic orbs and we should be fine realistically Ooh, this guy's got a crown that's scary giving him time to get his build going we started off really strong but then the crown hurts a lot oh barely one we take that though we take those good game another one very nice that's more mana generation the faster the mana generation, the faster these guys can proc, the better off we are. Getting another one of those is nice. Okay, so let's let's reset here. Let's reset. Let's um Well actually we don't really need to reset. I could just Yeah, I think moving that is like so is the better play. Because we want all three of those to be touching. All three of those are touching, which is nice. And then we could just do this. And that kind of just works. The only thing I'm missing is this guy, this armored. Which I guess I could put you here so that you're a weapon and you're on the star slot, which is good. Otherwise, I would like for it to just be another mana thirst, but you can't really do that. <laughs> you know? We'll put that there. Nothing I want to sell to get this this round, so we just won't get it this round. Um, and yeah, we'll just we'll just stick with this. We will just stick with the Instaproc versus Instaproc. If you guys are wondering, actually, no. He has no potions. You need potions with this. Well, unless you're just not going for my build, I guess. And you're, you're, uh, 
your location of your prismatic orbs is kind of interesting. I guess he... I've never seen this, though. Double mana thirst with a magic torch and then utilizing triple prismatic orbs. At the same time, he's got a shit ton of buffs, to be fair. Oh my gosh. I take that back. We just got shitted on. <laughs> We just got shitted on. Jesus Christ. I take everything. I thought we were going to win too. He did have a lot of buffs though. Damn. Well, there you go. <laughs> we just got destroyed. We just got destroyed. I am actually very surprised. It's okay though. It's okay. Let me get a second one of these, please. Game. Should I start hard rolling? Eight gold? Should I hard roll? I might actually hard roll. Haha. -ha! Okay. Um... Pig? Sell pig? I think. Because I need this. I need everything. Except for this. But just in case we get another uh, white wolf next round, you know? So yeah, we sell pig. Sell pig, get this, move these down. Like that. And then this guy can go here. Get that activator. Which is nice. Um, move you down and that's actually really cool. I wasn't thinking about that. Having prismatic orb be on this moon shield because the moon shield is a holy item and a magic item. You know what I mean? So that's actually pretty nice. All right, this is looking good though. As good as it can. Oh, no, no, no. Well, I mean, it is looking good, but I was looking at this blueberry. I was like, I could put the blueberry right there, but do I really want to move this armored? Because there's nowhere else I can put it. Literally. So yeah, I think we just keep it there. Oof. This is a W flame whip build. We are kind of like doing a lot of damage at the start of the game, but it's not enough to insta-kill. It's not enough to insta-kill. That's because we don't have... Well, I guess we do have crits, but like... It's still not enough to insta-kill. Probably because we don't start with that many buffs. Like with the ranger, you have the mega clover starting off with a bunch of buffs. You know what I mean? Um... But this one, you're just kind of not. Unless you just have like a bunch of mana orbs just procking a bunch. But, you know. But yeah, anyways. Triple B Nance with an oil lamp on a flame, bro. And he's also got this. We, I say we lose this. Unless we're just goaded. Which I don't think we are. Yeah, we're definitely not goaded. I say we just lose this. Because that is a crazy build. That is a really good build. Yeah, that's like the best, one of the best, one of the best Pyromancer builds out. Ding! I guess, you know. But yeah, got that. Definitely want you. I can't get you this round. I mean... Technically speaking, I can. I would just have to sell the glowing crown. Which, one of the biggest purposes with the glowing crown is to just insta-proc the mana orbs. I mean, the magic potions. But we have a mana orb, which is going to insta-proc. So do I just sell the Glowing Crown in order to get a Prismatic Orb? Or is the Glowing Crown worth keeping for the invulnerability? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to keep it. I regret rolling two times there, but I think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. The only thing else we will want is like another one. Or a wolf. Or even a health potion. Okay, I'm rolling too many times. <laughs> I'll just keep it though. I'm gonna just keep it. Okay, burst build. Kinda ish burst build. Which works for me because I insta proc my crown, which means I don't take that much damage at the beginning of the game. Oh my god! I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. I regret not buying this now. But then again, I wouldn't have a crown crocking at the start of the game. It would have probably taken a lot more damage from that initial burst, right? I want this. I think I do it. I think I sell crown for it. Fuck it. I'm selling the crown for it. I'm selling the crown for it. Was it a good choice? I don't know. But I did it anyways. Okay, so. How do we want to set this up? Um... I think we want to do this for the sake of Wolf Emblem. 
I think we want to do this. Yeah. Unless I did this? Nah, I don't think that's smart. <laughs> I think keeping it the way I had it is better. But yeah, I think if we want to do this for the sake of Wolf Ablem, having three mana thirst inside of the star slots is good. And then, what I think I want to do is probably move this up by one. And then moving this over? Realistically, I want it here, but I can't really do that. Not to mention the no the potions are fine actually yeah the potions are fine and then I could do this and then do that missing out on a few star slots over there unfortunately we kind of need space we kind of need space I mean the only thing I'm willing to sell is probably this armored and this guy I could just sell you I don't need you anymore if I could sell this for four gold that's the space I need and then I could put that there Unless I move this up and then just put that there. How do I feel about that? I don't know. I don't know. Because I could do this. I wish I could put you next to there. I mean, I guess I could, but like, eh. Eh. Oh, wait, I can't. I'm tripping. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I have space. I'm tripping. I could do boom, boom. I could put you here. You're not on a wolf emblem though, which is annoying, but maybe that'd be okay. The minimum star slots is kind of irking me, but maybe I'm okay. Unless there's something, am I missing something? Maybe there's a better way to set this up somehow. This would be better, because then it's on there, and it's still affecting. The only thing is I'm missing a, like, a whole star slot. Not to mention getting those to activate on there. That's also missing. Unless I move this entire situation over here instead, and just like completely ignore that, but that's that's too many star slots for me. I think that's too many star slots, and I'd, just, I'd rather just have the star slots. It's either that or we move this entire situation down. And go back to here. And in that way... No, I still can't. I'd have to move it down again. So it would have to be here, right? And then I could do... This. Well, I don't know where the bunny's gonna go. Because I, I, I'd like for the bunny to be touching... The other wolves. And I would like for the bunny to be inside of the star slots. You know what I mean? I mean, the diamond slots. Like, that would be nice. Um, But it's kind of looking impossible right now. I mean, I guess I put you here. And that just worked. Maybe that's okay? Is that okay? I don't know. Maybe that is okay. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? How would you guys start this up? With the triple prismatic orbs. With the moon shield. Hmm. I wonder if it's worth, like, moving it over by one. Like, maybe... Doing something that works here somehow um i don't know yeah i'm not sure how i would set this up i need some inspiration here <laughs> Just a little bit. I mean, I could put a blueberry there. And then we're here. 
Which I feel like this is a little bit better. Maybe not. What's the crit chance? Because that's what, 40? 48, that's like basically a 60% chance to crit or a 72% chance to crit. Unless my math sucks. My math might suck. I think my math does suck actually. This is 48, 48. No, that's 48. 48 chance to crit versus a 60% chance to crit. I think I'd rather have the 60% chance to crit. Like honestly, I think I'd rather just have the 60% chance to crit. Versus just that extra little bit of mana. Even though the mana is nice. At least this is touching. <laughs> okay, I think we just roll with this. I mean, yeah, right? Like, like, is that horrible? Realistically, I wish I had like a two slaughter to put here and moving this over, you know, maybe, you know, help out my star slots a little bit, but you know, it's not the end of the world. I, I, I you know, I think this is fine. I think this is fine. What are we going against? I doubt I insta kill you. This build does not insta kill, but I pretty sure we win. Pretty sure we win. Yeah. We only did what 332, I think. You know what I mean? Just the other classes are better with getting the buffs, I think. Like Ranger's better with getting Clover proc, Insta proc. You got crits at the start. You got a bunch of buffs at the start of the game. You know, because it really you just need a bunch of vampirism. Because the vampirism is, is what makes this do so much damage, plus the crits help it do so much damage too at the end of the day right so definitely not gonna be able to like insta kill with this build but the build is still pretty solid you know what i mean just because you get crits with the puppies and then the puppies can also give you more mana generation which goes right back into that mana thirst but yeah that was an easy win though this is a good game i don't know how I feel about how do you guys feel about this variation or do you think deerwood guardian is better than this one what do you guys think i don't i like deerwood guardian has the survivability right like i feel like mid game deerwood guardian is better because you get the survivability of the seven seconds i mean the seven uh mana right and then the uh the extended duration of the uh fatigue i mean I don't know, berserker mode um just right off the bat but with wolf emblem you can buy this but it doesn't come with the wolves, you know what I mean? Like, you have to go searching for the wolves. So, like, I feel like this might be stronger in the late game if you get the right pulls with the wolves. But, like, I feel like Deerwood Guardian is probably better in the mid game. Possibly. So, that will, I'd say Deerwood Guardian is probably more consistent, I guess, with winning. And then this is probably better just, like, in game type wise. Even though we lost, like, three times in a row before this battle. Which is interesting. But, yeah. What do you, what do you guys think about it? I think it's solid. Like, I don't... I'd, I'd, I think I'd rather prefer Deerwood Guardian over it. You know what I mean? Um, but like, I don't think it's bad. You know what I mean? Crit chance was, yeah, 70% chance to crit, which is pretty solid. Um, as far as mana generation goes, I'm pretty sure this big moon shield probably generated the most mana, yeah. 17 mana generation from um, the moon shield and then 16, 15, 11 from the prim orbs. Which is pretty, pretty solid. I wonder how many times this proc the but yeah, let me guys know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and don't forget to, you know, do that little share build little situation in the Discord server. I look forward to seeing that. And I will see you guys on the very, very next video. Thanks, guys.